set temperatures, it's pretty easy. There's a switch right here. You flip it, it always defaults here. You go up or down in five degree increments. So you select the zone, up or down. So you wait here for a minute, and I have not flipped that switch back. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go back to run mode, and then see that little, it went back to run. Blinking. So it doesn't stop you from running. It's blinking. The only no. thing it's telling you is that you forgot to flip the switch back. There is, what well, you have right now, it's called a power off timer too. Every time the motor gets activated from the machine, it resets the clock. But right now, after three hours, it would actually turn itself off. It'll read OFF in the display. Everything will cool down. The okay. only, way, only way to turn it back on is by turning the switch off and then turning it back on. And it's, it's selectable. There's also what we call standby temperature, which is a 50% set up. Now, not so much in this application, because they're usually on or usually off. Right. If you're in the field, you're tied to the generator. But if you're in plant, then and everybody on Friday night, you know, don't turn off the machine. If they have that set, they'll turn itself off. So you don't push the material to grade it when the machine is not being used. Gotcha. So if you use it, it becomes self-protected. Oh, that's on this unit right here. That's also dip yeah, switch yeah. selectable. Or whether it goes yeah. to one or the other. Exactly. For auto standby and or the auto off feature. This system, these boards are identical for all of the systems we use. Right. This one is unique in the way it's set up that it doesn't have a second hose and gun. Progressive melt, if you want to call it that. Uh -huh. So it will. You know, I normally let it get down. Normally, I don't go quite as full. I just did it to get that last one in there.